Hey, have a look at this, guys. This is what we're talking about. Look at that, these sharp little shrapnels. Hey, this is Benoit here, and on today's episode, we're gonna do a little shrapnel test for you guys, okay? So right here, this is a play from Can Armor, level four, okay? We're gonna shoot this probably with the SKS there. I like using that gun, you know what I mean? It just gets me rolling. But anyway, so on this test here, we went to the dump and we got this old tire. Okay, it's a bald tire. And what we're gonna do here, all you need for this project is you need the sawzall, the duct tape, the plate, and the old tire, okay? So we're gonna cut it to size here. We're gonna check it out, see how much it weighs and stuff if it's not too cumbersome. But uh, the, the whole point here, we're gonna put it on top of this plate because a plate raw like this, okay, what happens is you're gonna shoot it and now that material there off the bullet, if it doesn't go through, it's, it has to go somewhere, okay? And in theory, usually what happens is it goes side to side and up and down. So this is why with this tire here, once we cut a nice slice and put it on top of this, we're assuming that it's gonna catch the shrapnel so you don't get hit in the jugulars, you know what I mean? You get shot in the plate, boom, jugular, that's not gonna help you, okay? So we're gonna try this test here. I think it's believed here that this is a four ply, you know, so there's gonna be some metal, uh, some metal wiring in there, eh? It should have some capabilities here to catch shrapnel. But this is why we're here today, okay? We're gonna do the test here and uh, let's find out what happens. Okay, so first step here, pretty simple. You know what, we're just gonna mark this puppy here, right? Try to mark it as best as we can here. Okay, there we go, that should suffice. And then we're gonna have a look here, because I think a sawzall is gonna be good enough for this project. You know, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm assuming here, I got the really nice blade on there. One of them Diablo blades, eh? So those Diablo blades there, they're usually they're pretty good. All right, let's start cutting this puppy here. Okay, so this should be pretty good here. Yeah, it's not that easy of a task. This thing just wants to bounce like a trampoline here. So let me see here. Can't make it steady. getting somewhere. It's just here, there must be a thick chunk of wire here. So, let's try another way here. Man, it's just like <laughs> Is it not going through the wire? Well, it is slowly, but it's just getting caught on it, see? Oh, you got oh. it. Hey, what a headache that was. Not just one more to go. Wow, this is, this is some pretty tough stuff here. Eh, finally, wow, that sucker's pretty tough, guys. Have a look at how this built up in here, okay? You see this here, the bead there, it's got this really thick stuff right here, right? And these little chunks of uh, wiring, this, oh, it's two ply. So now we know it's two ply, guys. And this is what we're hoping it's gonna catch the shrapnel, okay? So it's all hopes and dreams at this point until we do the testing. But what we will do, we will fire that plate there with nothing. And we're gonna have some things around it, 
So you can clearly see that there is gonna be some shrapnel damage. And then we're gonna duct tape this thing. We're gonna find out and see if it works to catch the shrapnel, okay? Well, let's finish cutting this puppy here. Maybe the side walls. And then we'll have our plan here for this uh, homemade, the cheapest possible way. All you really need actually is, is duct tape. That's it, that's all you need because you can get this at the dump if you already have your plate, right? Okay, well let's get on with it. Let's cut this off here. See? Some little war wounds right here. Hey, you know you're not having fun if you ain't bleeding, okay? Now take that to the bank. All right, let's cut these sidewalls here. We don't really need these. Let's have a look here. Okay, exactly. See, they're gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna slice those puppies right there because I just want this to be a flat surface on here. Okay, beautiful. Nice. Yeah, let's have a look here and see if this is gonna... Eh? Wow, perfect. See? This is gonna be pretty good. Let's have a look at what it's gonna look like here. It's gonna double the size of the plate, which is okay, because if it's if it will work to prevent the shrapnel from coming up, it's gonna be worth it. And this is really light at this point. You know, I don't think it's gonna be in the way of anything really for as, as far as weight goes, eh? But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go to the range and check it out. Okay guys, so we get it. we got here to the range, okay? So I want you guys to observe our little setup here, right? We got the plate here. Now this chunk of cardboard is undamaged yet. We will just want to demonstrate that when the bullet hits, there's a potential of shrapnel, okay? So I'm gonna try to fire a few shots here, just so you guys can see that the shrapnel, right, as you get hit in the plate, it may go up and strike you in the throat. Now we don't want that, right? This is why we got our homemade setup here. But right now, we just want to demonstrate that. So let's fire this sucker. Okay, so we got these cheap Chinese FMJs there. 762 by 39. Now, let's pop them. One shot, she came off, that's okay. You know what, we're gonna discard this one here. Okay, she's clear. Let's go have a look at the shrapnel, guys. Oh, hey, have a look at this, guys. As predicted. We're not joking when we're talking about shrapnel. Check this out. You see that? That is the shrapnel boy, oh! Could you imagine now? You think you're safe with your plate, eh? And you actually get hit in the chest, boom! You got the shrapnel there, man, ouch! Right in the jugulars, you're done. So, this is why we made this pad. Now we're gonna duct tape this sucker here to the plate, and we're gonna hope that there will be no shrapnel. This is a theory. We don't know this, but let's find out. All right, guys, so we put on our rubber. Now it's not, you know, nice and flush to it. The middle's not bad here. So I'm gonna try to shoot it in the middle, right? Because it's as close as to the plate as possible. But we put a fresh piece of, uh, of this cardboard to see the shrapnel. And, and we're hoping, we're really hoping that this two ply here is going to catch the shrapnel, okay? So it's a learning curve for, for all of us here. But uh, let's look at the test. We know that raw, it's gonna hit you in the jugulars, man. Don't do it raw. You need to get one of them pads, the shrapnel pads. But this is free, so let's check it out. Okay, so our intuition is telling us that this could work. Let's find out, guys. At least it didn't come off. That means it took away some of the vibration because usually it just comes right off that tape, eh? Pretty cool. Let's check it out, guys. Wow, it worked. Hey, I can't believe this, guys. Check it out. Check out the damage. 
there's just these little pebbles of shrapnel here. But you know what? If you look here, okay, because we didn't epoxy this, like I said, we just taped it. Now those little shrapnels just came through where it's not uh, where it's not quite bonded here. You see, there's one little shrapnel there. And look at the damage up here, barely anything. So I'm quite confident to say here that once, once you do a proper job, you epoxy the tire to your plate, you'll get no shrapnel. It works, hey, the intuition speaks, and when it speaks, you gotta just check it out, do the test. Okay guys, let's open up this sucker here, but first have a look. See our, our bullet here, came right here, and it just did this little tiny hole right there. So here's my prediction, the bullet is still in here, okay? Let's open up the sucker here. You see these little shrapnels? This is what we're talking about. Look at that, these sharp little shrapnels. Now you don't want that in the throat, guys. Well, the bullet's not in here. So it must have ejected from the bottom here. But regardless, you guys get the point, right? And if this thing here is fully epoxied on here, it's, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna hit you in the throat. This is a wonderful test here. Now we know it works, guys, eh? Okay, well, uh, please subscribe, like, share, do whatever you need to, and we'll see you guys next time.